BB Trucking. If you're new to the channel, thanks for subscribing or thanks for checking this out. If you haven't su subscribed yet, reach down there and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. That way you can be updated with any new uh, new content we come out with. Uh, if you've been here with us for a while, thanks for coming back. Today, we're gonna do something, something a little different. Uh, another, another maintenance moment, 806 driver maintenance moment. I was uh, looking through Facebook Friday night after I got in and I come across a, a, a picture on there of a, a guy who had uh, lost a set of duels, which he lost more than just a set of duels. He lost a set of duels, the hub, and the brake drum all at once of course uh what usually causes that is a bearing fail failure within the spindle due to uh lack of uh lack of maintenance lack of uh, uh hub oil so uh we're gonna i'm just gonna do a little quick video and we're not gonna get real technical on this but as a driver especially like uh somebody who uh is just not real mechanically inclined but things you can look out for to prevent this from happening to you while you're going down the highway uh it's a very bad deal um uh, i seen the set of duels one time come off and uh, i've seen the aftermath of it because it was one of our trucks when i was in the oil field but he lost a set of duels coming into a town in oklahoma and them duels went right through the front of a convenience store and it tore the crap out of everything i mean it looked like a bomb went off in there and everybody's seen them videos on youtube or whatnot of uh you know people getting killed on the highway from a set of duels coming off and flying through their windshield or man they're a total car you know and there's a lot of times people lose them you can't even find them that's how fast a set of duels comes off around 70 mile an hour down the highway them things are going and they're going in a hurry so um the that picture i got sent to me here i'll, I'll show it to y'all right quick all right if y'all take a look at this picture here uh zoom in on it if you look at the bearing um you can see that the bearing is pretty rusty if you look at the spindle which is right I, I can't really point at it here but the bearing is is a. Uh, i'll try to i'll try to mark it I'll, I'll point arrows to this when i edit this video but if you look at the bearing it has got rust all over it the spindle is rusted and um everything on the end of the spindle there is just tore all the heck and if you look all this there is a set of brake shoes that means the drum's gone the hub's gone as well as the duels so it's a pretty bad it's a pretty bad deal when this happens but um let me kick this record off and get back to you yeah i'm gonna look through here on uh on facebook or no excuse me facebook on on youtube here i'm gonna see if i can find a few actual videos of the of the wheel falling off coming down the highway because there are some videos of it out there but um it's just something you do you do not want to happen but uh without further ado we to get over here and like i said it's just gonna be in in uh in layman's terms of what what to look for and how to check your hubble because that is the most important thing on this or uh anytime you guys gals go in to, for a service for your with your truck always ask them uh, mechanics or technicians to check all your hubs for you while you're in there um especially in a in a drop and hook situation i got i got a buddy uh that i follow here at old Dion melvin over there at flatbed gang uh even my buddy jorge navarro at a, a trucker's life they do a lot of drop and hook so i in my opinion it's really important every time you get another trailer a new trailer you check those hubs out because you know they're getting dropped and hooked all the time sometimes you have a driver that cares about it and will look at it or knows about it and will look at it and then sometimes you got some that just they just hook up and go they don't even go around bump a tire look at lights or anything they just take off so you never know what the situation of your trailer is when you get to it so um we're gonna walk over here and uh i'm gonna use my uh we're gonna use our haul trailer today uh our rgn as our guinea pig and then i will also uh take you and show you what it looks like to do it on a on a steer axle on a drive axle what you need to look for so but we're going to start with the trailers the trailers are usually the most common places that uh that this can happen all right so if you look in here this is your this is your hub this is your hub oiler each one has one 
tell that one's got a little bit of a leak to it around the uh around the glass and uh, we'll go into that here in a minute but these are some of the things you might want to keep with you on your truck you want some hub oil which a lot of people use some lucas it just says hub oil on it but most of it's 80 90 75 140 somewhere in that area this is mainly what we use it's, it's a cheaper form but it works good some glass cleaner brake cleaner brake cleaner to me y'all i love brake cleaner brake cleaner works good to clean up anything it's just like that that dirty hub back here on the back uh i'll show y'all what to do if you just got some glass cleaner though it will work fine so when you pick up your trailer come down here to your hub and spray a little glass cleaner on it like i was saying there i had to reposition my camera spray a little glass cleaner on it get your rag blue paper towel clean that glass off real good clean your plug off real good all right from right there y'all won't be able to see it but on these hubs they got a line right here that says full down here it says add top bottom you can't see that one because of the oil in it but if you look at that line, that full line, this is where you read the line at the at the six o'clock position on your on your hub oil or the bottom, however you want to look at it. So uh, this one right here is full; it's plenty full. You can also pop off your cap and look in there and visually inspect that it has fluid in it. When you're putting these caps back on, be really careful because this is a uh, it's almost like plastic glass plastic glass and you can break it if you're not careful so you just gotta be real easy these things will turn yellow over time that's when they that's when you know they need to be replaced place they have kits replacement kits you take these uh <clears throat> you take these uh torx bit screws out and you can just replace that glass piece if you do break one or you can replace the whole hub but it's cheaper just to replace the glass but on this hub it's okay now you ever Alright, this one back here, it is a it's pretty dirty. So take your old trusty brake cleaner here at the top. Soak it down good. This one right here, it needs a new glass on it Y'all remember what I was talking about the glass yellowing? See how that one is? It's yellowed and it's in bad shape. It needs a whole new glass in it. Pop her cap off. If you look down in there, there is some oil in there though. It's a little bit low, but there is some in there. So uh, we need to put a new glass in that one, which I will do this week. But that's, a, that's basically, you got one real nasty like that. That's where, where all that oil was coming from, is this glass is bad and it's just leaking out in between here. You know, a little bit of oil goes a long ways. The leak is not as bad as it looked, you know. It's just, it's like you, you spill a quart of oil on the ground, it looks like you spilled a five gallon bucket. You know how that goes. All right, so that's an example of one that's yellowed, needs to be looked at. If you come up here to this one, we'll go up to this front axle. It's just a little bit dirty, dusty. But when I was walking by this one earlier, it looked like it was low. So, use my brake cleaner, clean it up, wipe it down. Let's have a look here. All right, you can look at this one and see that the oil is not up to the full line. I don't even think, I think it's a little below the ad line. Let's take the cap out and look. Took the cap off. 
yeah you can barely see any you can barely see some right down there in the bottom so what you do here just get your your 75 140 80 90 whatever you want to use uh you might check with your mechanics at your particular place you work to see what they use in theirs but most all of it's universal so what i do is i fill these things up until right before they start coming out of the hole the fill hole and what happens is this oil it's going to leak it's it's going to settle down because that oil goes all the way back here into this hub that's where your bearings are that's where your bearings ride on your spindle and it lubricates those bearings so whenever you fill a a hub oil, a hub up like this that's low you want to fill it up and it will gradually go down you can see it's already it's already starting to go down and, and take it into the into the hub but you want to go walk around check something else out come back in a little bit and hit it again and then uh hit it a couple times then usually after you go down the road a little ways and you stop and do your 30 minute break or your load check or whatever uh come back and check it one more time because usually it will pull all the fluid back into the hub and you'll still have to add a little bit more now you can see it's down it's right at the full mark a little bit below the full mark and it is still going down so this one was this one was definitely low y'all this is something something you have to check now if you do have a like you say this hub right here it didn't really show any indication of the hubble leaking from the from the cap here or the glass or whatever so where where would your hub oil go if it's not there well one for one hub oil kind of kind of gets used up disintegrated you know it 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 will eventually over time go down without a leak but your main culprit will be a wheel seal now this one See if I can turn my flashlight on here. All right, I couldn't get my flashlight to come on y'all, but if you look back up in here, that right there is your wheel seal. And you can see this one is a little bit, little bit wet right there. Not bad, but a little bit wet. So this thing's probably been leaking just a little bit on the on the back of that wheel seal. Now, when a wheel seal get zoomed out here. Okay, when you, when the wheel seal goes, now it'll throw oil all over your brakes, all over your tire, and everything else. When you have one go really really bad, so uh, that's just the main thing to look for. And it's the same on the steer tire and the same on the drive tire. That's where you where you're gonna look at. Um, on a drive tire, it will, uh, oh, well, hell, let's just go up there and show you. On a drive tire, you don't really have no way of checking your hub oil from out here on the outboard side of it because, you know, your axle cap is here. So, uh, what you got to do on drives is mainly every time you take your truck in for service, they should check your differentials. That's where your that's where your uh, gear oil stays for your uh, for your drive section. And to check your differential, they gotta take a plug out right here, and um, that's where you'll check to see if you haven't have, if your oil is at the right level. I've done a video before, I believe, on checking hub oils, but. Same thing, if you do have a wheel seal leaking, it's gonna throw it all out, all over the place within your uh, within your brake foundation out here. So that's just something to keep an eye on, on your truck. If you start losing, uh, if you have a wheel seal go, you might wanna check your hub oil. Of course, you're gonna to have to check your hub oil or your differential fluid. Cause it, what it does, your fluid rides in here, your gears, it. It, provide, it provides lubrication for your gearing inside your rear end. But the oil also travels out to your wheel ends through the axle housing and um, lubricates your bearings inside your hub here. 
you got two bearings inside your hub here just like you got on your trailer tires on your trailer axles so anytime you have a service done they should be checking your rear ends too they che should check your transmission fluid level and check your rear end fluid level so if uh if they're not uh be getting on them and make sure that they they are doing that for you so that's basically you know the drives are kind of a little harder to keep up with but it's really not that bad if you got a wrench you can take that plug out and that pl your fluid in your your fluid in your rear end should you should be able to stick your finger in that hole and go to that first crease in your in your in your uh index finger and you should be able to uh touch touch oil is a good is a good method to use so uh now on your uh on your steer axle steer axles are just like trailer axles and uh believe it or not this particular truck right here we lost uh we lost a bearing on this one most likely it, it was due to not having enough oil in it but they got a cap just like you got on the trailer axle there is a little bit of a a little bit of a window here to look in but most time you got to look in there and and see hold on you gotta look in there and see what you got going on in there and this one looks like it's a little low too so we'll have to add a little bit to it same thing there just be careful putting your plug back in make sure you don't uh you don't break your small glass on it it's a hub oiler caps y'all if you look on La Flama Blanca here, um, it's got one more like a trailer, like a trailer cap. Now, a lot of trucks will have a beauty ring over this. You just got to pop it off. It's a little chrome chrome cover hub cap that goes on there. You got to pop it off to check it. But this one is more like a, a trailer hub, but you can see fluid in here. like that it's, it's real full I, I checked these the other day which i check mine about once a week anyway on mine try to keep up with it but but yeah so some of them have those type and some some trucks and trailers will have a completely sealed cap and uh i'm gonna walk around here i think we got i think we got a trailer or two that uh has those type of caps on it and i'll show you what they look like all right that fertilizer trailer tanker trailer i pull it's got a little different type cap on it it's still got the this oil level pull and add it's just a little different you have to you have to just uh look at your your, your windows a lot a lot more more narrow of a window standard gear oil that'd be standard 80 90 weight that's a little different type, but it still has a window where you can inspect it. All right, y'all. Look old Jerry's truck here. He finally got his hood back. After that deer strike, they got it fixed. So his old truck's looking good again. This is the hubcaps I was talking about. You just take a screwdriver, get in behind them, and uh, and pop them out to inspect, to inspect that uh, hub. Same way on the back. He's got some hub covers on it let's look at some of these trailers here see if i can find one that's got that one there's got the standard hub oilers so pup trailer of ours it's got the standard hub oilers our old tanker trailer here this one we used to run loads in and out of the field here locally it's got standard hubs here we go the step deck here If you look at this one there's no way to really inspect it because it's solid so but if you look around here if you don't see there, there's a fill plug right here actually i don't even think that one's a fill plug both on the bottom where I can't see them. All right, you got a plug right here on your hub though. If you look right there, that's where you would fill your hub up. And to check those, you got to position that hub 
a certain way. I'm gonna walk around a few more of these trailers here while I'm talking about that one. You got to position that hub just right at like a at the three o'clock position where that hole is, so you can uh, you can inspect and see how much oil's in there. On these, we still got the standard ones. Now these are some old school ones right here, old school clear ones. They're still glass. And they screw in instead of bolting on and you can see your fluid fluid in there this is a this is an old trailer we don't even use it no more it's an old cotton seed trailer we used to haul cotton seed with but yeah we don't even use it anymore we got these new cotton seed trailers now standard hub oilers standard hub oiler on that one Standard ones on that one. Been hauling peanuts with this one. See those peanuts up in there still. Standard hub oilers. As you can see, all these are dirty. They need to be cleaned up and checked. Here's another old school, which if y'all never heard of what a Dayton wheel is, that's a Dayton wheel. These are real old school. So I could give a I can make a whole video on those one day too. We don't, this trailer you see is laying on the ground. This is a, this ain't our trailer. This is a bird song peanut trailer. It's a trailer they used to haul peanuts out of the field. Well, their yard dog broke the landing gear off of it. And we, like this one here, we, this one was done the same way. We went down and got it and we repaired the landing gear. We got to do the same thing to that trailer. It's repaired, put new landing gear on it, so. Now this one has a uh, some solid hubs hub caps on it too hub orders it's a little different style again that one sounds plastic but i don't know much about some of those i mean those are older and before i really started working on working on these things but they all have a feel they all have filler, filler, um, I'm trying to say, they all have uh, spots where you fill them up at, a little port where you fill them up at, and check the fluid level on them. So, so hopefully y'all got a little bit of knowledge out of this stuff today. I mean, it's real important to uh, to catch those, uh, those low hubs though and, and have them filled up before you take it out on the road never know what could happen and if anybody's wondering you know what my experience is on this and whatnot and where i'm coming from on this well i was a i was a mechanic in the oil field for about 15 years i drove i've, I've drove trucks just as much as i've worked on them or i've worked on them just as much as i've drove them i have i have wheel in certifications i got some certifications um come back to this one right. see that one it wasn't very low it didn't go down too much more so it's, it's still sitting right at the full mark from what we added to it i'll put my cap back on and we'll leave it leave it there and we'll check yeah, it like tomorrow. i was saying uh i've been through been through training um i grew up around these things around trucks here why i can talk to y'all i grew up around the trucks you know my my grandpa had trucks i worked at places uh when i was in high school uh, these farm supplies around here and stuff they had trucks and we we're always working on them so when i was when i was in the army i was a petroleum supply specialist 77 fox but you know uh my first five years spent at fort seal oklahoma and uh when they found out i, I knew a lot about trucks in the maintenance shop over there i kind of got pulled out of the uh out of my job of doing fuel handling while we were in the motor pool anyway. And uh, I was over there servicing them, servicing our trucks that come through there. So in the, in the, uh, in the motor pool. So I learned a lot, learned a lot in the oil field. And so that's kind of where my experience comes from. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope everybody learned a little something like I said, I didn't get too technical with it. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Uh, 
if you don't follow me on social media, follow me, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, uh, CDL Live. Uh, I'll drop all the uh, links to those social media platforms down in the in the comment or down in the description. So but thanks for checking us out today and we hope everybody's good. And it is May 10th, uh, Mother's Day. If I, if I have any mothers watching this right now, well, happy Mother's Day to you. To all you guys that have wives and mothers, happy day, happy Mother's Day to them. So take care of them. They're the ones that uh, take care of us, especially while we're out on the road doing our thing. They hold down stuff at the house for us, you know, and uh, take care of those kids. But for 806 Driver, B&B &B Trucking, catch you on the next.